you folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Serene Cat Empire on the beta patch 2.0.2, I think is the number, uh, where a bunch of things have been rebalanced and kind of fixed up a little bit here. Um, our economy has just taken a tank because I believe the cost of uh, um, outposts, well, actually, all star bases has gone up uh, between the last time we played and today. Uh, basically, they've all gone up by one energy credit per month, and outposts, which used to be free, are no longer. I have not played this in quite a long time. I've actually just, just, just returned from like my week and a half long trip to uh, to Florida and California for some work stuff, some charity tournaments. I am, I have to be honest, really jet lagged and kind of tired, but I'm going to try my best. My glasses are still broken, so I'm not wearing them. Uh, I don't strictly need them to read the screen, but I do have to squint a little bit, so it's going to be an adventure, but I really want to get back into here. Sorry, I just knocked the mic. Oh my god, I'm so not prepped for this at all. Um, if I recall correctly, we are mostly salty about this Federation being a big poopy head, but I think we've sort of stabilized that situation because first of all, we did, did I believe, just win a war against the uh, interstellar autocracy over here, and they are now our vassals. Where would we see this? Right here. They're bending the knee to the Stream Cat Empire. Good. And we have a defense pact going on with the Boki Collective over here. Um, they do consider us a slight threat because I guess we've just been warring a little bit, but overall we're pretty good. Um, so we should be protected uh, a fair bit more from stuff from these groups over here. Now we still have kind of a messed up government, if I recall correctly. The thing is, being spiritualist is actually pretty good I've, I've i've always enjoyed playing a spiritualist they actually have great buildings great edicts um and then they can go down like the the psionic path and various things like that um and i think you know it's quite nice to be that i'm still kind of annoyed that we haven't had real control over what's going on overall but we'll see now i could still spend what 250 to reform my civics over here i can't get rid of barbaric to spoilers i could get rid of the slavers guild and actually replace it with something that gives me a bonus i think that isn't there a chance there's a tech that can give me plus one civic choice at some point um and if so you think you still have to spend for the reform so i might just chill and like ignore the inactive civics until then because the best case scenario is i spent 250 influence to swap one civic out so i'm gonna go ahead and unpause i think i'll leave it on normal speed for a scooch here because okay Lots of ideological CBs are being triggered. As I say, it's a new patch, and when you reload a save in most of the, the Paradox games, some of the diplomatic standings get recycled. Uh, we do have a planet here waiting for an upgrade. We don't have any money right now, so I don't think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think what I star will do on this... Thank you for charting a star system. On this empty spot, I will build a power plant, and you will go there for a little bit more energy. I think we can probably fix up our economy, but yeah. Now, these guys are... You're just going here, but you're going here to take out of these pirates, which is good. Like, what can I do to fix the money situation? Well, I suppose under edicts, I can't capacity overload because it's 270, but we'll probably run that as soon as we get a few more points. I'll run capacity overload to get a little bit more cash flowing in. More ideolog ideology CBs triggering. And that's the only wars we've been in so far. It's kind of annoying that it keeps happening. I'm going to disband this fleet. Um, factions, Alien Justice Observatory, sure, fine. I have reordered a bunch of these things at some point. Um, let me take a look to see if I can build... Where's Hecka Station? Right here on the border of these guys. Yeah, I probably have to keep the defenses. Um, trading hub over here. I could upgrade. I've got a lot of minerals. Let's do it. I'm going to want to get more trading going on in as many of these places as possible. Same thing there. Um, these can't actually be money. I think most of the places that are bastions are not around planets, so I can't give them that. I mean, I could save a couple of bucks here and there. Bastion, bastion. I'm just double checking here. Okay, these trading hubs, yeah, we'll upgrade. Now, I think there's higher maintenance for the bigger ones, but we are going to compensate with that. Um, by throwing in... What am I looking for here? Oh, you already have an off-world trading company. Never mind. Yeah, let's let's kind of go ham on this. Oh, see, you've got slots open. Boom, boom, good. And you can have the off-world trading company. Trading hub over here will upgrade you. Anchorage. Uh, yeah, can't have anything at all. And you have black hole station. You've got your black hole observatory, and that is that. 
Okay, more CBs triggering. That's fine. I do have room for three more star bases. So I'm just going to check kind of visually. See here, this is a outpost station around an inhabited planet. So I will go ahead and upgrade you. Um, that's one. And there was three more, right? Yeah. So I'm going to upgrade and upgrade. I mean, they do, again, they cost a little bit of money as is, but they more than pay for themselves once you get the trading companies. Already our energy credits are starting to stabilize a little bit, probably because we just go ahead and uh, disband some stuff. You can go ahead and do some upgrading over here. And the yarn chasers are ooh, laggy. Construction. I guess it was loading in some graphics. You're slowly making your way up over there. All right, let's go to fast. I'll probably jump to fastest at some point, but let me still build up over here. Association status, uh-huh. Was that the interstellar autocracy? Was it these guys? I don't know what that means. No, I think I imagined it. Okay. So they hate us. Their claim on us. Now they, so yeah, they have a claim on us because I don't believe I have a claim on any of their stuff over here. I mean, right click to focus on the system. Star there, system there, 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 and there. Yeah, I don't have any claims on their stuff vessels over here. Upgraded. Thank you for upgrading the vessels. Uh, if there is going to be war, it might be with these guys again. I'm wondering about moving up sort of a little bit more towards the front somewhere. Um, is there a way to find out where the home system of these things are? I don't know. I'm going to get one parked in Hekka. Actually, I might double up on Hekka. I might just put everyone here and then just, like, burn through these guys once it comes up. Carrier operations. Right, strike crafts are cool. Droids. Droids, 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 droids. I mean, I have some robots. I guess upgrading to droids is pretty good. Hull and armor regen built in is actually kind of nice. And I don't think we're going to find any more living metal. Because we sort of explored everything we've got. So you know what? I will research this. Because the amount we have researched... Oh, that's a long time. Is there a shorter term benefit? Wow, the torpedoes are always good because they are my star bases will all have them. We can get a discount on our cruisers, which is also kind of sexy. Better flat cannons. Okay, let, let's go and get a little bit of this because I'm still worried about having to fight some fights here. Energy credits going down. I'm just shy of 270. Punks. Now Station you, under attack. I'm gonna go and zoom in here, and you're gonna go here, and then I'm gonna shift click you to over there. All right. So that'll get taken care of soon. Got some idle construction ships. Please rebuild these mining stations here, um, and you are gonna rebuild these Zero over here. Uh, looks like. Hold on. Are my sectors set up to build construction ships? Because uh, I probably don't want that. I have one whole sector. No. Was this built beforehand? That might have been built beforehand. I'm going to get you to disband yourself. There we go. I will take care of that on my own. And double checking the sectors here. That was F5. Okay, you're making money. I'm taking most of it. You were set to financial focus, which I do like to do for the first sector, and it's doubly more important now with the giant patch change of Doom. So yeah, any... I guess any of the ones that just call themselves star bases. Oh no, see, yeah. It's going to be hard to check the ones that I want. At least once they get some amount of trading buildings, then they just get listed as a trade station, and then I'll, I'll know to check those for um, upgrades. So yes, more things are getting blown up. Should I change my voice pack to, like, the spiritual one? I don't remember where it is. Advisor. Authoritarian. Because we're not authoritarian anymore. I mean, it doesn't matter that much. I, I do like the spiritualist voice, but I think we're going to keep going with the authoritarian. So you're just observing over here. You're doing passive observing, which is fine. Um, factions, we have a million of them. Oh, Only one that's happy, and it's not giving us as much, but it's pretty low. So yeah, one of the things I think that's going to happen is we are just going to accept the fact that we're going to swap our population over to spiritualist. and make it easier to uh, keep everything going. Um, I think I want to keep going through domination. Um, pops of all your subjects also count towards your naval capacity, which will be nice. I think I'm going to take the Unity Booster first, though. And do I want to finish Domination first? Technology is shared. Tech speed, unlock. I mean, there's something to be said about just, like, because I have a little bit of everything, right? Why well, don't I finish Discovery? I never got Data Bank up link. Oh, that's for Assist Research. And then we finish it, we get the 10% Research speed. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I'm confused. Did I not just finish an Ascension Trick? Attacking Whoa. enemy vessels. 
Dangerous tech. Rare tech. Dangerous tech. Sapient AI. Let's do it. Um, hold on. I'm very confused about something. Did I not just finish this tree? So do I not get an ascension perk? I guess I already have two. One, two. Presumably I haven't tech to get a plus one. Did something get undone somewhere along the way? Again, I'm, I'm playing across patches, which is always very risky. And I may not have bothered rushing that. Um, so you're in combat there. And these ships are good. Like, they're doing things. Automatic exploration. You're moving somewhere. Oh, to collect a, a critter. And you're also... You're collecting the same critter. Ravenous, ravenous. So I'm going to get you to halt. And perhaps what I'll just do is get you to assist research in my capital. I think that's probably going to be okay. Boom. All right. And being spiritualist, we can get some good things to boost the, what, unity or something like that by doing assist research? I don't remember. Is it is it even spiritualist or is it one of the traditions? Yeah, I don't remember. Adopting all of them increases the happiness of all pops to 10%, which is really good. And we get the search perk. Excellent. All right, let's go up to fastest. I think we're going to be fine for now. Uh, I think, have all the pirate stuff been cleared out? It's about to. We'll probably want to go and claim this. It's actually, it's not bad. I mean, it's not, it's not literally going to pay for itself, especially since it is going to increase the unity cost of things. Oh, that's one of the other things that changed, is the unity cost for traditions was being miscalculated. And um, some of the costs here went down, which is kind of nice. Boom, 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 cleared, good. So, out of curiosity, if I hit B to return, that's your home system there. I don't know, I might... Let's make Hekka your home system for convenience. In any case, you're going to go and, uh, oops, just upgrade, which you will go here because it's the closest, regardless of it being a home system or not. Inactive buildings, we just have to wait for some pops to grow again. We've got a bunch of border changes that have kicked in. You are going to get it upgraded over here. Um, I still want to upgrade all these, but they will just cost money right now. Oh, um, policies and edicts. Capacity overload. Bam. Okay, wow, 20% is a big freaking difference. So now we're making money like crazy. Did spend a ton of influence, but I think that's okay. Charting, I don't care about these borders. Deal expired, yada, 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 yada. Okay, good. So you're going to camp over there. Construction ship over here. Come in, please. Actually, why don't you start with this one since it's so rich. And yeah, we'll do more of that. I could get another construction ship at this point, Special just to speed that up. Complete. Excellent, we have secured a species. So, this science ship is now idle. Um, there's one more, but I can't get there. Where is it? Yeah, that's pretty far. Okay, we'll just wait. Can you... I mean, I could get you to assist. Let's keep doing ex uh, automated research ex um, while we can, and then I'll go and set the other ones to assist. Two more habitability, plus 20%. I don't know if that's something that'll actually come up and be useful, but it's interesting. More starbase capacity is actually pretty tempting. Very expensive, though. I think... Uh, terraform uninhabited... Or inhabited planets. Grabbing some of this would also be good. Just this cheap one. The thing is, the Naval Logistics Office, it's only... Two, well, anchorages get better if they build the star base. Yeah, it's cheap, so it cycles quickly, but I think I'm going to grab this. We might do some terraforming. Uh, we got a trade deal coming in. What is this? You would like a mutual research agreement. That's pretty good. And a few minerals to boost. Sure. That's fine. Hopefully it's techs we already care about. You are over here. You are going to upgrade. Excellent. So you're both in the queue for that. Um, I can actually, oh no, I can't merge you up together. I'm getting confused between the multiplayer game that I'm playing with Briarstone, where we have, like, ludicrous fleet limit. Uh, we have two systems to grab, and not quite enough to do it yet. Let me start over here. We'll come back and do the science. We'll hook this up, and then we'll go and just try to fill in some of these gaps, just to prevent pirates, because they are... I mean, if my fleet's going to be around here, I may not have to worry about filling in the pirates as much. Arrested development. Aww. Um, good show, but terrible trait. Ether Drake. So yeah, we probably need like 20 or 30k to go after these guys. We can talk to the curators and find out what they think about that. We're not trading anything away, are we? No. Okay, good. And the money's very solid for now. I have to remember it's a semi-temporary thing based on spending a lot of influence. 
Insults, upgrades, da 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 da. Alright. So you guys are all done. Well, mostly done. Flat cannons will probably be another upgrade. A bunch of our stations, they want their defensive uh, things upgraded, but that really doesn't take long, so I'm going to hold off on that. Oh, but what I am going to do is take a look. Uh, say there we go. Trading hubs with some extra spaces. Chunk, chunk. And do we do we want another building of... Oh, you don't have an off-world trading company. Well, then, yes, we want to do that for sure. Um, generic star bases. They're not around planets, though. Some of these just got upgraded. Yeah, see, like that. And... Oh, you can't build the off-world trading company until you got the trading hub. I think these are other new ones. Yep, yeah, same thing. And queue up an upgrade. And same thing. And queue up an upgrade. So you don't have anything. You don't have anything. You are working away up to some stuff. Um, I suppose we could queue another upgrade over there. It's getting quite expensive. Or cancel you and upgrade here instead. Excellent. Okay, that's basically all my minerals. Not literally, but, you know, pretty much. You're upgrading. Technology secured. What do we get? Flat cannons. All right. Uh, ooh, new armor is good. Unlocking battleships, also very nice. It also gives us a little bit more fleet command limit, which is handy. I mean, we're basically at a naval capacity. I'm actually tempted to just grab the armor for now. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's a little cheaper. It helps all of our ships all the time. Okay, there's just on taunt here. They're the big jerk faces. I mean, that's just association status, so that's just, you know, a non-aggression pack, but still. Who needs a building? You need a building, and we are making money now, so Stars let's go ahead and do that. Started. I'm going to upgrade you. We'll, um... Construction complete. I think I'm going to go for the upgrades as well. What are we tech-wise? A little lower on engineering, so we'll build an engineering facility over here. Excellent. Construction complete. Sun ship over here is idle. Can I automate it exploration? Or note, you're canceling instantly. Okay, so taking a quick look at my planets, um, you make, you make. Oh, they all make a fair amount of science. I'm not counting necessarily. Uh, so you zoom in here, and you're gonna go and assist research. Yes, no. Huh? I, I'm very confused. Oh, there's no route! You're stuck! Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to disband this ship, which will give me the scientist back. And then over here, which I believe is where I was trying to send people, you are going to build me a new science ship. There you go. So teleport the leader over there. Presumably he's taking some sort of space bus to get back home. Excellent. Okay, trading hub over here with some extra slots. Boom, boom. Lovely. And this Bastion is still somewhere else, so it's not going to do anything. Okay. Construction. Complete. Still don't know what I'm going to do for these buildings. The extra buildings down here do cost money, but they can be handy. How's our food situation? Okay, we're making tons of food. Not like ludicrous amounts. It's still nice to get the growth bonus here. I mean, 95% growth. Two planets, which is presumably the only ones that are growing. So yeah, the extra food is kind of pointless. Can I replace any farms? I don't remember if we've done this this game. I think we have. Okay, there's no food there. I mean, we may still have a paradise dome somewhere. Yeah, that's a paradise dome with the food. And my glasses are broken, so I'm going to be even less good than usual at spotting this stuff. Let's get more engineering facilities going, please. Why so unhappy? You're just part of a faction that's cranky, right? Yeah, that's all. But as more and more people become spiritualists, we could, like, try to push towards spiritualists by spending some influence to do that. Oh, wait, you're that. You are going to get... Oh, we have tons of idle scientists. What? First of all, first of all, because I had an idle maniacal level three over here. That's pretty good. You're maniacal. Um, let's do a little swap over here. Maniacal that way. I don't suppose. No, that looks looking pretty good. So you over here are going to grab, uh, yeah, because it's only 5%, but you know what, let me eat this guy, but eat him, we'll use him for this, uh, yeah, I can't remember if you can actually have more than one person assisting research, I suppose now that I've warped you back home, you actually might be able to do some, um, some exploration too, 
But tell you what, I'm going to grab one of these other planets. You're going to get a, um, a science ship. We'll apply a scientist to you, and then we'll see if we can auto-explore. Because there's still some stuff. Fleet orders canceled. I think you can't anymore. Construction yeah. complete. But can you make it home? No, you can't either. Okay, so we'll do another disband. And Bickle, you are going to get a science ship over here. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of closed borders, I think, that are, are sort of trapping our ships. Construction ship is done over here. Um, but, oh, stagnant ascendancy. Part of our population for endangered species preservation. I think that's okay. It will give... We'll be pleased. Add it. Is this universal? So for 10 years, we're going to have a happiness problem. Thing is, we're not going to, to challenge these guys right now. I'm going to say yes. And actually, if they're happy, they can sometimes give us stuff. Complete. We have a tradition available. Or I guess our population just dropped, so that might be part of it. So you're completed, you're completed. Um, you get a little bit more unity, but I think I kind of want to finish Harmony. The happiness is very nice. Um, let's get the, uh, the leader lifespan so that we get higher skilled people living longer. I think that's going to be swell. So you're going to go and build this. This science ship, so we just built this one, is going to take one of these idle scientists. And if I put you on auto explore, will you? No, you won't. So you're going to go and... Wrong system. Isn't it? I don't know, I guess you're here. So, okay, we cannot assist research over there. And two is going to have one in a second. And Bickle is building one. So let's go down over here. I'm not actually looking to see, like, the production numbers. And I should, but that's going to be all right. Okay. Oh. Borders open. Oh, that's the Forerunners. The Stagnant the Ascendancy will let me through. Well, that's swell. I don't even remember where they are. The Forerunners. I suppose I can look them up on the other screen. But they're not nearby is the thing that matters. So I don't think that changes much. Bickle. So I think that's our last. Oh, no. We have another one. Level four. Well, that's fine. So we can do one more science ship. Let's just research over here. So of my planets... So you don't have one assisting. I don't remember if this is where I just sent someone, but I don't think so. So I'll get you to build a science ship as well. Now there is maintenance for that, but I think the, the tech boost is well worthwhile. Uh, we only have the base level, so it's only a 5% boost, I think, per skill level. Uh, but if we can get the next level, it's 10% boost per skill level? I think so. Anyway, it's it, that's, you know, it adds up. I know it's only one planet at a time, but it still makes a pretty big difference. I could check to see if there's, like, a super science one over here. It's kind of lopsided. But, yeah, this, this is going to be fine. So, science ship over here. Do, do, do. Zoom in. Give me a person. Construction and assist research. Thank you very much. Oh, and then I have one idol here. Oh, were you headed to one of these planets? You might have been headed to one of these planets. Uh, okay, so let me just double check my cities here. You've got one. You don't have one. I think I got confused about something along the way. All right, go there. All right, so all my planets, which I know are pretty sciencey, uh, are going to have an assist research going on. So my fleet's just chill right now, and I think that's okay. I can't think of anything that I'd really need to do with them. Complete. Construction complete over there. I, I think I'm going to grab this system. Again, you know, I was talking about my military forces pretty nearby, but if nothing else, I just don't like the hole in my borders. So we're going to go ahead and fill in these gaps. Costs be damned. So you can upgrade some shift clicking there to queue it up. I always shift click, but the thing is with the science centers, when you have to choose what type of science lab it is, it doesn't carry over the shift click, um, which is like queue up all the upgrades. Healthcare, edicts, education. I would like to renew those. I do have some money, but remember, I kind of only have the money because of the edicts I'm running. Well, we probably could live without the healthcare, because actually growth, we don't have that many planets growing, and we do have stupid amounts of food. Um, recycling and education is probably still critical, though. Let's go ahead with both of those. We'll save 900 bucks that way. That's going to be fine. And we don't have enough influence to run anything else, which I think is okay. If so, same thing. We're going to do another upgrade on one of your science buildings. We don't have, like, a planetary unique that could be plopped down here, huh? No, not that I could tell. I mean, there might be some on some of the others. Oh. Hi so someone has hired someone to go and raid me. 
Uh huh. Now I can't merge these. This is like the thing is for strength 80, 10k. I mean, there's no way I can challenge these guys. I'm sure. Complete. I don't know where they're going to be hitting Receiving me. Communications. What is this? Research agreement. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Only 10 years. Construction complete. Construction complete over here. Uh, let's go and do this and this, because we don't... Uh, we might have the influence to grab another system, but... So you're done over there, so build the mining stations, and then I think I'll get you to move over here. At least these are slightly stronger than that, but I think we'll grab them all in the end. I don't know. Again, in terms of energy, they pay for themselves, but there's other things than just energy to worry about. Yeah, I mean, we can get resource silos. I mean, I could get more of these hyperlane registrars to, like, vaguely lower some of the jump time in a few areas, but... Construction complete. Unless it's spilled over to adjacent systems, I don't think it's particularly well worth it. So we'll just have to check that all these have been done. Um, I suppose since we are about to get attacked somewhere by some goons, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade any of my defensive platforms that do exist. And just a handful of minerals. I think you pay for upkeep on these, but, you know, just upgrading is not going to be bad. And I said, like, if there was an option here to, like, control or shift-click this to, like, queue all defensive platform upgrades everywhere, please. Because this is a little tedious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Vessels and you will check more of these hubs. Maybe what I'll do is we'll put a cut in here, because it's a pretty natural place to put it in, time-wise. We don't know where that attack is coming yet. We'll deal with them soon. We might just have to, like, deal with the attack. Um, and what I'll do is I'll make another pass through on my star bases to see if there's any adjustments I want to do there. Ooh. And um, I might also take a bit of a direct hand on, on my sector. Just double-check those planets. So we can terraform inhabited planets. We may want to do a pass there. Uh, Emperor Capital Complex, yes please. Emperor Unique, it's really good. It leads to more stuff. There's our plus one civic slot. There we go. We want this, and then we'll try to save up to 250 influence again. Uh, so I won't be taking these systems here, because then I'll have the ability to get two functional civics, and that's going to feel great. Thanks for watching, folks. I will see you guys next time.